<sighs> well, I'm back. Just came from a uh, fuel cafe. Got me a uh, bagel. Cream cheese. Knife. Some napkins. And a large coffee. Plain. No sugar, no cream. Uh, just the way I like it. I don't like uh, just my coffee being without sugar or cream. I like my uh, women as well. But, uh, uh, a little sugar here and there, I don't mind. A little cream there and there. Nothing wrong with that. You know, I like the Milky Way and the Black Hole and all entire galaxies. A okay with me. Am I speaking metaphors? Could be, maybe, I don't know. I have lost track long time ago. I actually tell you the truth, never kept it. Sometimes words uh, come out and uh, they can have one meeting, or they can have two meetings, and they have five meetings. Or sometimes they have no meetings. Meaningless talk, mindless chatter. Who needs it? Who likes it? Everybody. Really, think about it. You guys watching TV? Right? News channels sometimes? Oh. I've seen TV. I've seen news. I've seen news today. I've seen news yesterday. I've seen news a year ago. I've seen news 10 years ago. You know what? Nothing changes. It's all the same. Meaningless talk. Meaningless chatter. Somebody needs to make some money, look busy. That's what I'm doing, except I'm not making any money. Just looking busy. Okay, that's my job. My job is to sit here, look like I am saying something meaningful. Uh, give uh, appearances, uh, give an appearance that I'm intelligent or something, and I know what I'm saying, because the, the, the the show is called What I Know. And then in parentheses it says What I Don't. In actuality, it's more like What I Don't Know. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's all there is. At least I know. At least I know that I don't know, which is which is the first step to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> knowing, not knowing. Mm. This bagel is good. Nice and toasty. And the coffee is strong and black. Yeah. Nothing beats strong coffee, except when I drink really strong coffee. I'm starting to vibrate. My whole body's going jittery. Brrr. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, every time something like this happens, I'm thinking, is it, is it really good to drink this strong coffee? So you feel all jittery and vibrating and feel like I uh, have some kind of a neurological disease, you know, how people always need to be moving. Hmm, I don't know. It's a good bit. Oh, look who the cat dragged in. I make her, come, come. Come here there, sit next to me. We we're recording. Oh. We're recording. Oh, it's on UStream. Yeah, it's it's going live right now. <laughs> Not to scare you. <laughs> it's going live. What are you talking about? Uh, well, my show is called What I Know <laughs> and What I Don't. <laughs> so basically, um, all there is. You're just eating on the air. Why not? <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 eating on the air and I'm talking how. Good the bagel say, uh, taste. Yeah. Is this yours? Yeah, it is. Did you show them? 
Uh, I started reading it, but I was not recording when I was reading it because I forgot to press the record button. Oh. So I'm gonna. I got maybe another half an hour, 20 minutes or so here. Nice. I'm gonna go drink a beer in the back. It seems obvious. Pour a beer in a cup and come here <laughs> next to him because I, I can only talk for so much. And it's like, yeah, come on, come here. <laughs> I'm a car. My new friend. I met her here two days ago. Don't get going, drink yeah. a beer, have a seat. Oh, there's only 15 minutes left, and One beer. isn't this exciting? Kind of. All right. <laughs> I'll see him if, uh, if it doesn't work first time, try second time. But with a slightly different, you know, gotta adjust things. Cause my Taishi teacher, no. <laughs> two weeks ago, he said, stupidity is when you do something exactly the same and you expect different results. And um, this, that's not why it's worse, cause that's, that's what stupidity is. You can't do the, exactly the same thing, expect something else. You gotta make a small adjustment. Yeah. Like I made this sesame bagel. It tastes good. And great. And I love it, but uh, next time I'll go, I'll get some other bagel. Just to make the adjustment. You know? I like I like I like the variety. You can't eat porridge, peas and porridge all your life. Sometimes you eat peas, sometimes you eat broccoli. Like the other day, after hanging around a bunch of spiritual folk in Chicago, I. Uh, and meeting a whole bunch of people on this master cleanser or just a fast I decided to try it out to find out what's it like not to eat so um, after I got back from Chicago a week ago or so uh, I stopped eating I was drinking teas and water but when did you stop eating? Uh, about a week ago, like 10 days. I started eating again. But for a whole entire week, I did not eat. I just drank some cheese. Did you feel crazy? No. Actually, you know what I felt? The first day I felt a little hunger. And it was just a little hunger. It wasn't, didn't bother me. Second day, I felt a little hunger. But <laughs> it didn't really bother me either. But the third day, I was almost no hunger. Hmm. And I, I felt happy and energetic, and then I forgot what I, I forgot people are eating in front of me. I don't feel hungry. I'm comfortable with people eating in front of me. I don't need no food. So you just uh, say, yeah, it, it's just you know how you walk by and you, you look at somebody eating something good, oh and God. you're like, oh, I want something. I want to eat it. Your stomach says, oh, feed me, feed me. Yeah. And then it just doesn't happen anymore. That's what happens. Hmm. A friend of mine is is already on his thirty fifth day, thirtieth day. That's no. That's really bad for you. <laughs> He's happy. That's really bad well, for you. I, I, that's what I, I told them. I told them we don't do it over twenty days because then the people say your body starts eating itself. And he told me he told me well, when the body starts eating itself, shouldn't shouldn't people feel uncomfortable? Something bother, should bother him. I said, yeah, because it's not good. He says, well, I don't feel it. I feel just as healthy and energetic as I did before, if not more. 
So I'm like, okay, That's brother good. man. Too much. My hair looks really crazy today. I think your hair looks crazy every day. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Ooh. You gotta get some dreadlocks. No. No? no Why way. not? I think it looks especially crazy today. It looks like Statue of Liberty. I look like the Statue of Liberty? Oh my yeah. god. That's a good thing. No. You're like a, like a star. Everybody knows Statue of Liberty. No, this is bad. I look like a weird soccer player. So you play soccer? Yeah. That's your first thing that you've eaten today? No. No. I came in the morning. I came to my mama. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom, she knows that I haven't eaten for a week. Mm -hmm. So she's like, oh, oh, you have to eat something. I said, no, no. And she says, I made something just for you. I'm like, oh, boy. What's your name? Um, fried potatoes, oh. but she made it in the Russian style. It's it's more like you know like this French fries, mm -hmm. that is the American fries. Well, Rus Ru Russian Russian fried potato are not done in a frying pan. I mean, not, they're not fried, you know. They're baked. They're not baked on fried. I mean, they they're fried, but not fried. They just it's just you take a skillet. And you put some oil yeah, or butter. That's fried. And you chop chop the potatoes. Yeah, and then you throw it there. But you don't fill it. You, you know how some people fill the skillet to the top and then it's just... Oh, no, not deep fry. No, no, not deep fry. It's just fried. Yeah, and it just becomes soft. And I haven't seen it in America. Fried potatoes? I yeah. fries. You slice them up and you put them in the pan. I haven't... I have never, ever, ever ate it. And I've been living here for a long time. Never seen any American make it like Russians do. Oh. No, everybody makes it sort of like American fries or they either deep fry it. Well, I've been, in, I've been eating ghetto fries, you know. I've been living in a ghetto <laughs> most of my life. So I don't really know how it's done in suburbs. Huh. Not but, in the suburbs either. But even the suburbs, you got all this stuff in uh, in in frozen food section. You oh, get yeah. stuff a bag, and you throw it on the skillet, and it's already done. Yeah, you gotta go to people's houses that go grocery shopping and eat real food. I bought zog fries, potatoes. Oh, my phone's ringing. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's all right. You can talk on the on the line. Nobody minds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there we go. What I know and what I don't. I don't know shit. I didn't hear that from me. Because this is what I say as a you know. I know everything in the world. There is not a question that I don't know the answer to. Callers, call, ask your questions. I will give you an honest, as honest answer as I can. No, no, not as I can, just as can anyone can. I know it all. I know that I'm full of shit. Literally. Yeah. Because that's what happens to bodies after we die, the body is to shit. Because that's where they came from. Body, shit. Mind. Uh, wow, well, that's, that's an interesting part. What is this mind thing? According to certain people, this thing which we think is our soul, not the soul of souls, not, not the Maha Atman, just the, our Atman, our our individuality, our likes, dislikes, whatever, is all a samskara. It's a Buddhist term, samskara, which is like an imprint from karma. It's just karma. Which, is, which can be worked with, and we can, we can get with good, good traits, good habits, got bad habits. We can uh, let our habits grow, like 
my people uh, start drinking they drink uh, one drink and then drink two drinks and then they drink five drinks and then they drink all day long and then the house goes to somewhere else and the live I just you know they go crash a lot of people can people been smoking all their life and then they start oh I'll smoke a little less and they'll smoke one pack instead of two packs a day and they'll smoke half a pack a day they'll smoke a quarter pack then they'll smoke two cigarettes a day and then they smoke one cigarette and then they don't smoke at all everything is possible everything is possible if you really really want to you got desire and determination well and you put your heart in it you can achieve great heights it's, it's, it's not easy but somebody gotta do it yeah I've been uh, practicing eating healthy and uh, Boy, I've got some thoughts about healthy food. My grandpa is 82 years old. He has never eaten healthy food, never cared for healthy food, never really cared for raw vegetables, been a meat eater, a lot of pork in his life. He's 82 years old. He's happy and yeah, he's got a lot of problems, mostly with his knees and like blood sugar. Yeah, he takes pills, but he's 82 years old and he's happy. And again, there's a bunch of people I know. They're like vegans or something. Oh, they have to watch what they eat. They don't want to get, they are 25 years old and they don't want to touch uncooked food. They, they just, they don't want to touch something that might think they're poisonous or whatever. And how happy are they? I don't know. I know when I didn't eat anything at all, I was pretty happy. Frankie, come over here. Frank Latina just woke up. I guess he might stop by a little later. This bagel is good, but it's kind of small. I want another one. <laughs> so this is what we do. This is how we does it. We take it easy. We relax, we be chillin. That's my name, I'm Chilly Chill. Don't know how to do anything else. All of my life I've just been chilling. Hey Emaker, yeah? I got a question for you. What? Remember when we went up there by Kel's house, I had a blue book with me? Yeah. Remember what happened to that book? You, we came back and you had it. Yeah, I had it, we came back and I had it. You remember what happened afterwards? No, I left you. Oh yeah. Did you ask Kel? Well, Kel doesn't have it. She she doesn't have it. I thought I left it here. Maybe you did. I, could, I couldn't find it. Um, I'm just trying to back chase because I lost it and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, where's my book? It's my favorite book. Did you want some beer? Uh, beer? Um, no. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna have it some later. I gotta practice to go to in okay. ten minutes. We mingle with the good people we meet. Emeka, I met her two days ago. I came here to do my show, and uh, she was in the back room. And I, I can't resist saying hello to a beautiful woman. <laughs> well, actually, it, I can. 
if I couldn't, I'd be just standing on the corner saying hello to every walker by. Because you know what? If you've got an eye for beauty, you can see beauty in everything there is. Really? I gotta change yourself too. I've been like, okay, I've been teaching myself. In, in a rugged kind of form, kind of, kind of way, I, was, I, was, I tell myself, or I used to, not anymore, because now it became a part of me, I used to tell myself, okay, you, you're man, woman, that's woman, man is man, woman is woman, you man, you're beautiful as man, you're woman is beautiful as woman, I tell myself, you man, you don't care what woman look like, you see a woman as a woman, you love woman for woman, you don't love woman for her thighs, you don't love woman for her ass, you don't love woman for her face, you love woman because she's woman. So, so, I see a woman, I see a woman. I love woman because I'm a man. But, when it comes to like physical beauty, but society is fine, attractive and stuff, sure. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I, I I find I'm down with all kinds of societies. But when it comes to me, I just like to be open-minded and free. Oh, Rabbi. Let's bring Rabbi in here and have him say a word or two. Rabbi is a good friend. He lived at my house for like half a year. Sometime in the middle of him staying over, he stopped paying. I still let him stay. Well, he pays. He, he paid me back in flowers. I see a rabbi, I say, Rabbi, give me a flower. He give me a flower. It's pretty nice. Is it the orchid? 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 Oh. Okay. Come, uh, say a word or two. I will once I get this set up. Okay. They got to get these things out before they freeze. Oh. Oh. Flowers are pretty. Pretty, pretty flowers. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago To the maidens they have gone Long time passing To the maidens they've been gone Long time ago Where have maidens been gone long time ago where have maidens been gone long time passing to the soldiers maidens been gone long time ago to the soldiers maidens been gone long time passing where have all the soldiers gone long time passing where have all the soldiers gone? Long time ago. To the gray, to the ground, the soldiers been gone. Long time passing. Right, so I'm sitting here. No, no, you're sitting here because. Sitting here. Because the 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 video the the mic um the, mic. The, the the video is coming from here. The camera is yeah, here. So what you up to? You hear me messing around? Okay, we're here. We're here. We're here. What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday? Yeah, it's Passover. Passover. Yeah. I got this date with this, like, like you know, OK Cupid? You don't know that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I got this date with this one, like, two weird people. Uh -uh. Well, it's, it's, it's not like a date date. I want to, you know, I'm... I'm I like talking to people. Yeah. I, get, I like getting people into my world. 
Yeah. And the stranger, the weirder they are, the more welcome they are. <laughs> That's why you're here. Yeah. If you were like a straight age, narrow nose, like or ordinary person, I'd be like, I wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to say. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> but you're a rabbi. Yeah, I'm supposed to be with Pantos over at the Jewish Old Home. We got services at 8 o'clock. 8 in the morning? 8 at night. Oh, I'll, I won't be there. And then I got I got work all day, and I'm supposed to be there at 8.45 in the morning, but I'm not going to get it there until I get there. On Saturday. Hmm, I'm going to Chicago on Saturday. Yeah. What are you going to do down in Chicago? Uh, party. Party? Pa yeah. <laughs> I wish we could have some parties like the guy in Chicago up here. Uh, but Chicago got 10, 10, 10 million people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and yeah. We, get, we get party, there's 50 people, it sucks. Yeah. There's going to be a party up here? Yeah, tonight, tonight at 9. Mm -hmm. Small one. Yeah, come on down, there's a party here. We have, was it a film fest? Or no, don't, don't, not to close. Here, film here. fest and what? Oh, uh, so I think radio station, and we got food and drink and uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. Yeah, Big strippers? Party. Strippers. <laughs> yeah, there was a stripper walked in on my show one day. Oh, you got a show here? Yeah, it's Sundays. Oh, nice. With, with Spider? Yeah, Spider. And some stripper came in. She wanted to take off her clothes. <laughs> so, did you let her? No. Why not? Yeah. Hi, Rabbi. Hi. Hi, Amaker. Hi, Amaker. Amaker, nice how do you know Rabbi? Who doesn't know Rabbi? Well, <laughs> yeah, who doesn't know Rabbi? Yeah. You want some beer? No, thanks. <laughs> hey, Amaker, yeah. you coming here tonight? What? What's tonight? A party. Party. There's a party here tonight. Is it really? Yeah. At o'clock, yeah. For why? Uh, For film. Her. There's a guy film who's and, doing, making a film. And film and it's like a film star and there's a radio. Just come by. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see. I'll see what Frankie's up to. <laughs> see? Yeah. Takes time. I got I to gotta mark this stuff up and, and go around and collect. <laughs> Alright, well, you do what you got to do. People owe me, but... They don't pay. You know, yeah, you owe me. You don't pay either. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. owe me for the rest of the life. <laughs> I know. When he's dead. Hey, hey, I talked. I talked to Andy, the lawyer. Yeah. We did the court case, and they're supposed to decide outside of court. What? This was in February. Oh, your your thing? Yeah. I said you gotta you gotta call him or write him and, and decide. You have to end the. the uh, and Andy. The place. Our, yeah, yeah. Our, our Andy. Okay. Yeah, our Andy. Uh, That's my lawyer. Is he? Yeah, it's my lawyer. Oh! Uh, you know, I'm going to get the game. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a lawyer, you know? Yeah, yeah. I said, like, hey, two years. Two years I've been waiting for this money. Yeah. Okay. So they, they're waiting, you know, they should pay me. If not, we got we to sue the government. We're going to sue them anyways. So aren't, aren't, gonna, isn't that what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> But we gotta yeah. do it again, you know? Alright, well, good luck, you. muscle tough. Hey, huh. tell me about this thing you're gonna do tomorrow, because I'm gonna be here uh, in, oh no, on Saturday, Saturday. Saturday? Passover, right? Yeah. It, well, I wanna go check it out. I wanna check out the the ritual, or what? Is it? Yeah, services. In the day, in the, the, in the day. Yeah, services, do, do a little masa, you know, a little, you know, a little wine, you know. Oh yeah? Some cake. Where at? At the Jewish Old Home. Jewish Old Home? Yeah, by 11.30. Where, where's Jewish Old Home? Prospect in Ogden. Golden Mayor? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. Oh, right, okay. We got, got a synagogue there. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 11.30, you say? My name's on the wall. Yeah, you, you're still, you still don't have a phone, do you? Yeah. You got a phone? I got a phone. Like a cell phone? Yeah. Oh, give me your cell phone, dude. All right, radio's over, party's over. I'm out of here. <laughs>